In this video, I do a little bit of an experiment with Tag Grading Company. I took a handful of graded cards from both PSA and CGC in a variety of grades between PSA 7 to CGC 10. I cracked them all out of their slabs and sent them into Tag Grading to see what grades they would get at Tag versus the other companies. You're gonna see me crack all the slabs, condition check all the cards, and get the results from Tag all in this one video. So here we go. Let's go one by one through each card. Okay, so first card we have is this Squirtle art rare promo that came out of a deck from Japanese. We haven't seen it yet in English. It's a beautiful little card. I love it. But this one got the PSA 7, I believe, and I have been looking at at least the front and I don't see anything glaring as of now. But let's take a look at the back and see if we can find something that is wrong with it. There might be a couple little dents actually. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about, possibly. So if you take a look, you can see it there on that corner there, right? That little dot. And then you can see it up there as well, that little dot. So there's two little kind of like pinhole dents up in the top right. That's a little uh, fingerprint that I can get rid of before sending. So that's really it. Just those two little dots up there. Got the PSA 7. We'll see if uh, tag and their AI system also detects the two little dots and marks us off for that. Let's see what Tag thinks about this card. PSA 7 to a Tag Gem Mint 10. That is a pretty massive upgrade, especially given the issues that we found when we condition checked it before I actually sent it out. Let's take a look at the detailed breakdown that Tag sends with each card and see if they were able to spot any of the things that we spotted with their AI system. So one thing that is cool about Tag is they have what they call the dig report. And the dig report is a very comprehensive report on the card after it's been graded, really high res pictures. They have a defect transparency slider. Like it's kind of crazy. It goes through the entire card. It gives you a rank for all of the different uh, dimensions and centering and edges. And it goes into the really fine details of the card itself, which I actually appreciate. It's, it's pretty nice to see like why your cards got the grade that they got, right? Like PSA does not give you a report telling you why the card was graded the way that it was. So if this was utilized appropriately, it would actually be pretty awesome. We know that on the back top right section of this Squirtle that there were two small pinhole dents. One kind of over here on the left of the globe, one here on the right of the globe, the lightning energy on the back. So let's use our surface defect transparency slider and see if we can detect a surface issue or at least the one that we saw. Okay. Okay. Obviously, right? I mean, you can see it. I can see it, right? There's the first one right here. This is the pinhole dent that we saw together when I was taking a look at the back of the card and showing you guys the issues that I saw initially. I don't really see the other one. Maybe the other one was a lot less noticeable than the one on the right, but it's pretty obvious that the card does have some sort of dent to the right of the lightning energy like we saw when we pre-graded it before sending it to tag. Let's take a look at the Charizard V-Star and see what CGC saw and why it got a 7.5. Typically, I'm not gonna send cards to CGC that have issues at all. Like they gotta be clean as hell to be sent to CGC. So, oh man, I, I see it already. There's no shot that I sent that to CGC. There's no way. I must've totally completely missed this. But yeah, there is uh, some sort of dent that you can see right there, right on the edge that got that CGC 7.5. Typically, I wouldn't send something this damaged to CGC but clearly this one slipped through. Let's send it to Tag and see what they have to say about it. Let's see if Tag was as harsh on that dent as CGC was. Okay, so Tag gave it a near mint, mint eight. So 0.5 higher than the 7.5 that CGC gave it. I'm kind of surprised that this still got an eight because that is pretty significant damage. Like that is nothing to scoff at right there. In the dig report for the Charizard V-Star, we can at least see here that they are recognizing that there is an issue back top left surface uh, ink defect. So definitely a surface defect. If we hit view, where does that take us? This is actually insane. This takes us to this comprehensive, kind of like the slider image sort of, but not exactly really and then it shows us here that this is the issue and actually when i first pulled up the image i can see if i can make it do it again if i refresh yes so it actually blinks at you which region of the card 
is where the surface defect actually is. So this is pretty insane. I really do appreciate this back end detailed look at the card itself to see exactly where the issues were that we had on the card. CGC gave it a 7.5 and is already kind of said to be lenient on surface issues comparatively to PSA. And then on top of that, we got a half grade higher with TAG at an eight. So TAG might even be a little more lenient on surface issues than CGC. Well, we've got a lot more cards with surface issues. So let's go through and see if we can make that determination. All right, the Dragonite is free. So let's take a look and see if we can find anything wrong with the card itself. So maybe a little stain or something on the card in between the feet. You can kind of see it there. That is a little bit of a stain. I will probably just send it straight up and see what Tay has to say about it. Let's make sure there's some scratches on there as well. So you can see, let's see, there is a scratch right on the E of Pokemon it's gonna be kind of tough to see but it's a horizontal scratch right on the E of Pokemon that's kind of the major thing on the back again let's see what tag has to say let's see if this card got an upgrade a significant upgrade like we've seen with the other cards so far this is a PSA 8 Thunder Knuckle Hollow Dragonite it got the tag gem mint 10 so I guess that little stain <laughs> in between his legs that is still there. I promise you, it's still there. You can see it right there, pretty obvious. Seemingly did not have any impact on how Tag decided to grade this card. In the dig report for the Dragonite, remember I said that there was a stain in between Dragonite's legs. We both saw that together as well. First, let's take a look and see if they actually call it out anywhere. So surface, zero dings, uh, front and back. It's not a ding really, it's more of a discoloration or a stain. So it's not actually showing the stain at all in the defect, surface defect transparency slider. I wonder if stains just aren't picked up by their imagery. Also, that makes you kind of wonder about things like cards that have been out in the sun too long and have some fading. Will their grade system or will this system or will their photography be able to catch a card that has been sun faded or would that have to be caught by a person so this card the stain in between the legs of dragonite was not detected in the dig report it went from a psa 8 to a tag gem mint 10. that is at least three cards so far that we've seen jump at least two Grades. PSA 8 Charmeleon from Pokecune. This one's a weird one. I took a kind of a peek at it before we started and I don't see anything glaring to be, oh, hold on. Well, no, I think that's just a part of the hollow. There are some like faint scratches that are going across the front, but it's a sheen hollow. So it's hard to know whether or not those are scratches or print lines or what exactly is happening or if that's just normal for a Pokecune card. I've graded a bunch of these but I can't say that I've looked at them incredibly closely in the past. Now, if we take a look at the back, I mean, the back to me looks pretty damn clean, to be honest. Maybe it's just the uh, those weird little scratches on the, on the front, possibly. Not 100% sure. This one looks really clean to me, so send it into Tag and see what they think, but PSA thought it was an eight. Let's take a look and see if Tag was as harsh on those reverse hollow scratches that we saw when we examined the card. It got a 10. It got a Gem Mint 10 with Tag, former PSA 8. So I thought that I had seen some micro scratches on the card. Let's see if those are reflected in the dig report. So we have surface, one ding on the back. Very interesting there. Let's take a look. Back, bottom left. I don't necessarily see a ding from this photo that they're showing me here. Let's make this large again. It's trying to show me something in this area, but to be honest, I don't see anything. Maybe I'm just blind. Maybe it's like right there. It's definitely not as easy to see as the Charizard V-Star one that we saw before. It also says snapshot of defects with a notable impact on the grade, and then the card still got a 10. I'm not sure how this would be a notable impact on the grade if the grade still got the highest grade that you give a card. I do remember thinking that this card was quite clean, and I think if I did send it back to PSA, there would be a chance of it hitting a 10. An 8 to a 10 is a pretty significant jump. I have had jumps at PSA from 7 to 9, I have had two grade jumps at the other grading companies, so I'm not going to say that this is like unheard of or 
unfounded. It has happened to me before, but we've seen it multiple times now in this video. Let's see if we can see it again on another card. The Umbreon GX that PSA gave an eight. So you can see, I mean, the centering isn't perfect top to bottom, but it's not bad. It's definitely within, I would say like 60, 40 range. I don't see anything on the front in terms of dents or dings or anything. So let's take a look at the back and see if we can find an issue. So there is a little bit of whitening at the top. You can kind of see there's a couple little dots of whitening at the top. So this will give us a good idea of how TAG treats whitening on cards. This is another card where there are little dings on it. You can see them down here. So there's a little ding by the P you can see. And then there's a little ding down here. So there's just a couple of little dings and pinhole dents on the back. So it's another card to kind of test whether or not their AI grading can really get into the nitty gritty of the surface damages of some of these little dings and dents that we see on some of these cards going in. Let's take a look. PSA 8, Near Mint Mint, Umbreon GX from Collection Moon. Got the Tag 9 Mint. So we did go up one extra grade from an eight to a nine, but obviously Tag was still able to find some of the issues that we were also able to find when we cracked out the card and took a look at it. So surface, we're looking at two dings. It says surface, it says view. Oh yeah, okay, so, oh, look at that. There are what looks to be a couple of little dings. So that would not surprise me if this photography and system caught those pinhole dents as well. It looks like they did, so that makes sense. We saw top edge, a couple of dots of whitening. It doesn't look like that is showing all that much. Phrase 100 fills 100, so seems like the only things that they noticed were the pinhole dents on the back. Not a huge jump there, but so far, I feel like all of our cards have gone up in grade from either company, PSA, or CGC. All right, full transparency on this one. You guys probably saw my hand slip and <laughs> the freaking screwdriver go straight into the card. So I made a big boo-boo on this one. So obviously the grade that CGC would have given this is not a nine. I'm not sure if I'll send this one or not because I really did screw <laughs> screw this one up. One thing that you can see here, uh, the screwdriver straight into the card, not great. You can also see it on the back screwdriver straight into the card. So yeah, huge ding on that edge now. And then it does have the classic print lines from the reverses from 151. You can see the crosshair reverse right there. So yeah, I mean, we got print lines. We got a giant gouge ding up in the edge. I'll probably still send it just to see what it gets. But yeah, that one's not going to be very indicative or a good comparison. I don't feel like we've seen a card that's had significant damage as well as uh, obvious print lines. So I still want to send it just to experiment. But yeah, just for full transparency, that is no longer a CGC 9. That would probably be like, a, I don't know, like a 6 or a 7 or a 7 or a 7.5 or something like that. It would not be a 9 anymore, unfortunately. But yeah, we'll send it anyway and see what it gets. We would think that the grade is not going to continue as a 9. It should probably go down since the card has been damaged. You'll see another problem once I reveal the grade to you. Let's see what Tag thought of the new damage that I accidentally created on the edges. An 8.5, so that damage created on the edges, significant damage on the edge and corner, only brought the grade a half grade down with Tay. I think we also did see that there were pretty significant print lines, kind of that crosshair print line that you see with these reverse hollows. I completely botched this thing. You can already see the damage in their photos. I'm still surprised though that the severity of that ding, especially you can see it on the front and the back, still only impacted the card down to an 8.5. There's one other error you're gonna see on this slab. I did my best. I did my best to fix it, but they didn't listen to me. I got an email saying that uh, some of my submission was going to be corrected because I inputted the cards incorrectly. This was an issue because this was a part of the email as well, and they were going to change the reverse hollow to Master Ball Reverse Hollow. As you can see, this is not a Master Ball Reverse Hollow card. This is a regular Reverse Hollow card, and I put it in the system as a regular reverse hollow, not a master ball. They emailed me telling me that they were going to change it to a master ball reverse hollow, which I emailed back and said, please don't do that. It is not a master ball reverse hollow. 
And here we are. We have a slabbed regular 151 reverse as a Master Ball Reverse Hollow. Last but not least, we have the card that got the CGC Gem in 10. This Radiant Charizard, beautiful card. I love this. I was buying a crap ton of these when they were like a couple dollars a piece. So this card does have a little tiny little thing that I wouldn't say is super important, but it has a little tiny little thing, little thing here on the corner. You can kind of see a little, a little guy, a little tiny guy down there. It seems like kind of that sheen is kind of pushed in maybe a tiny little bit on the corner. But otherwise, this card is super duper clean. No issues whatsoever. Minty, definitely see why. Obviously, it got the Gem Mint 10 at CGC. Let's see if it still got the 10 with tag. And it did. So the Gem Mint 10 crossed to the Gem Mint 10 with tag. No issues. I remember this card being extremely clean. I didn't suspect that we would run into any issues with this Radiant Charizard. Last but not least, I didn't crack this card out of a competitor case, but I wanna send this one in as well. So it's 25th anniversary Charizard. Obviously I've been buying and selling these now for a few months. This one in particular has a surface issue. It's not super crazy. You can see it down there in the bottom left. There's a little bit of a dent down here. I wanna send this one in just because the Green Shiz actually sent in his creature deck Zapdos and it had a very faint little dent on it. And at the time it was completely missed. They still gave the card a 10. And then there was the whole hubbub about it where he's gonna send the card back and they're gonna correct the grade because he made a video about it. But I wanna send in because this is the type of damage that was missed on that card. I wanna see if they have potentially made any changes to detect these more subtle surface level issues. There is a pretty significant dent on the back, the bottom left-hand section of this card. We're gonna take a look and see if it's still there, which it should be, after I reveal to you what grade this card actually got. Kind of crazy. We've already seen this before. We're gonna see it again. This card got the Gem Mint 10 with that dent that we saw when we evaluated this card before sending it out. Just to make sure you guys can still see the massive dent on the back of this thing, there you go. There's at least one dent down in that corner, and this still got the Gem Mint 10 with tag. I want to see if they actually found this surface thing on the back, because in my opinion, that surface thing is significant enough that the card should not get a 10. So let's see if they surface zero dings, zero dings. How, dude? How did the system miss this? Like, hello? So you can see the dent that I show in the video in their system here it's right here it's coming off the end of that end snapshot of defects with notable impact on grade nothing this uh dent or ding or whatever on the back of this card the defect was completely missed by the system so as you can see a lot of the cards that we saw had significant surface issues ended up upgrading at least two grades and a lot of them got Gem Man 10s with tag. So I know this was only eight cards. I'm not going to come to some like massive conclusion off of only an eight card submission. But what I will say is it seemed like a trend from this particular submission was that a lot of cards that had surface issues, which we, we were clearly able to see earlier in the video, upgrading significantly. And a lot of them ended up getting Gem Mint 10s. If you add that to the Green Shiz issue with his Zapdos that got a Gem Mint 10 that had a dent on the surface, it's pretty clear to me, at least as of now, that they need to reevaluate or figure out how to detect those surface issues better than they have been recently because not only have we seen in this submission that they are completely missing surface dents and issues, We've also seen that with DeGreen Shiz, who upgraded his Zapdos from a 7.5 with a dent that he created himself. He, he accidentally did the same thing I did and damaged his card while he was cracking it out of a different case. Also got a Gem Min 10 at Tay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.